When a smartphone company slaps the word ultra at the end of their device's name, it kind of implies that the phone is the ultimate phone around. Well, I have four smartphones of here, all with the word ultra in their name, that being the S20 Ultra, Note 20 Ultra, both by Samsung, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, and Redmi K30 Ultra, of course, both made by Xiaomi. The biggest battery of here is the S20 Ultra with 5,000 milliamps, and the other three devices are stacked on 4,500 milliamp power cells. I have used a Lux Luminous meter over there to make sure that all brightnesses are the same on all four devices over here. We've updated the software to the latest available on all devices and we're going to be rocking that native 120 hertz panel on all four devices as well. We're also going to be leaving the two Samsungs drop to Full HD Plus to match the other two devices. This is the Ultra Smartphone Battery Drain Test. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go! All phones are currently plugged in charge over here with their charges that came paired in the box. So they're all sitting at 100%. We're going to be using a heat thermometer gun over here with an asymmetry level of 0.5 because that seems to be the most accurate when measuring heat dissipation on electronic devices. We're going to be testing this out through each and every individual time interval throughout this drain test. We're making sure that all apps are indeed closed in the background, but the ones that we do open up, we're going to leave in the background in order to test out true battery drain. We're going to start over here by a scrolling through on a UFO test in Google Chrome over here. The app that we're currently running is seen at the bottom right hand corner. The time interval is at the top right corner and the percentages above each device is in relation to that time interval that you see at the top right corner and not what is actually happening at the current moment. After 30 minutes, we have 94% on the S20 Ultra, 95% on the Note 20 Ultra. The newest Samsung is beating that of the older S20 Ultra. 99% on the Mi 10 Ultra with a smaller battery than that of the S20 Ultra. Ultra 5% more there and 97% on the cheapest smartphone around the K30 Ultra is really impressive. If you guys are looking for specifications on all devices, please check at the bottom of the screen underneath the phone's branding in order to check out the battery capacity, the size of the screen and the CPU chip that we are using in each device. Of course, we do have a Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset in the K30 Ultra. All of them are running 7 nanometer technology, though the phones on the left hand side are running 7 nanometer Plus technology. The third app that we're running here is indeed Shazam and we're using screen recording as well. After one hour, we have 91% on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the same 91% on the Note 20 Ultra, 95% on the Mi 10 Ultra, and 93 on the K30 Ultra. So the Samsungs are losing so far, and after an hour and 30 minutes, 83% on the two Samsungs, and 88% on the two Xiaomi devices. So, so far you're seeing the cheaper devices doing the best of here, and when it comes to temps, so far the Mi 10 Ultra has been the hottest of all devices over here, and the K30 Ultra, its cheapest little brother to the Mi 10 Ultra is actually keeping the coolest temperature across the board, even cooler than that of the Samsung devices, which are known to keep cool temps all around. We're now currently on Facebook watching some live TV over here, and after the two hour mark, we have 78% on the S20 Ultra, 79%, 1% more than that of the S20 is the Note 20 Ultra, 84% on the two Xiaomi devices. Once again, matching over there, the two little brothers. And it's really interesting to see they do have the same size screen. They are using different chipsets though. We do have slightly different RAM on both of the devices as well with LPDDR4X RAM on the K30 Ultra as opposed to LPDDR5 RAM that we see on the Mi 10 Ultra as well as the Note 20 and S20 over here. So to our mark, we have the hottest temp still on the Xiaomi devices. Well, the coolest temp on the K30 Ultra, but the hottest on the Mi 10 Ultra. And after two hours and 30 minutes, 73% on the S20 Ultra, 74%, still 1% ahead of the S20 Ultra is the Note 20 Ultra, 78% on the Mi 10 Ultra and 80%, which is now leading the pack, the K30 Ultra. And just remember guys, it is a extremely cheap phone compared to the other devices, you can pretty much buy three of those for one S20 Ultra. I say S20 Ultra because it is actually slightly more expensive than that of the Note 20 Ultra. I have used the S20 Ultra for quite some time though, so you should see a little bit of a difference when it comes to battery performance over here, where the Note 20 Ultra is pretty much new as well as the other two devices alongside it. Though we do have a much bigger battery on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra at 5000 milliamp hours, which is 500 more than the other devices that you see on the table over here. So it should be doing a much better job, but it's actually doing the worst job of the four devices over here. The Mi 10 Ultra is still the hottest and the K30 Ultra is still the coolest. 65% on the S20 Ultra, 67 on the Note 20 Ultra, 69 on the Mi 10 Ultra and still leading the pack with 72% the Redmi K30 Ultra. I'm very impressed with the K30 Ultra. Let's see if it can beat its 
predecessor, the K30 Pro Zoom Edition, which I've tested on my channel before, which got almost nine hours and 30 minutes of screen on time. That is SOT, if you guys were wondering. Now we are looping a 4K video in VLC. It is 25 frames per second. So we're not really utilizing that 120 hertz refresh rate on all devices, but after four hours, 61% on the S20 Ultra 63 with a smaller battery, the Note 20 Ultra, 66% on the Mi 10 Ultra, currently coming in second place, second to that of the K30 Ultra with 68%. Once again, really impressed with that. Now things have changed in terms of temperatures, 39.1 degrees Celsius for the S20 Ultra being the hottest and 37 on the Note 20 Ultra being the coolest with the Mi 10 Ultra and K30 Ultra kind of being in the middle of that. After doing some front facing video recording at 1080p 30fps, we reached that four hour 30 minute mark, 53% on the S20 Ultra 55 on the Note 20, 58 now just 1% behind that of the K30 Ultra is the Mi 10 Ultra. And temps wise, we have the Mi 10 Ultra once again, the hottest. And this time around the S20 Ultra is the coolest after recording using the selfie cam. We're recording using the back cam over here now, but at 4K 30fps, we're not shooting at 4K 60fps because the K30 Ultra is actually capped at 30fps when recording at 4K. After the five hour mark interval over here, 43% on the S20 Ultra, which is now 1% ahead of that of the Note 20 Ultra. Very interesting since the Note 20 Ultra has been demolishing the S20 Ultra throughout this test, considering its smaller battery size. 48% on the Mi 10 Ultra, now beating the K30 Ultra by 2% with 46% over there. The K30 Ultra is back to being the coolest phone with 52.9 degrees Celsius. That sounds really hot, but when the Note 20 Ultra is reaching almost 55, it's not as hot. After five hours and 30 minutes, 32% on the S20 Ultra, now 2% ahead of the Note 20 Ultra with 30%. 35% leading the pack is the Mi 10 Ultra and 33% the K30 Ultra, just 2% behind that of the Mi 10 Ultra. I must say I'm really impressed with all of these devices since they are all so neck and neck. I've never done a drain test where all of them have performed pretty much equally as well. I would actually say that the S20 Ultra is falling behind a bit because of its large battery capacity. And after six hours, we have 22% on the S20 Ultra, now 3% more than that of the Note 20 Ultra's 19%. Still leading the pack, the Mi 10 Ultra is still 2% ahead of the K30 Ultra with 22% and the Mi 10 Ultra with 24%. The Note 20 Ultra just went dim for a second because of the game launcher. I hadn't set the setting to make sure that the phone doesn't lock itself after five minutes. So I've quickly switched that back. That is not apparent on the S20 Ultra. After six hours and 30 minutes, 17% on the S20 Ultra, 13% on the Note 20 Ultra, 19% on the Mi 10 Ultra, and 17% on the K30 Ultra. The Mi 10 Ultra still leading the pack over here, though the S20 Ultra is now matching that of the K30 Ultra at 17%. The S20 Ultra is now the coolest again, and the hottest once more is the Mi 10 Ultra. Guys, earlier I was doing some benchmark testing, and just to let you know, this is not to speed up the test, but it's actually to simulate real life performance of actual heavy hitting games, such as PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile, since I can't play those games on four devices at the exact same time. So I kind of just put it in there so that it would be more related to a real world experience of people that enjoy playing games, as well as doing all these other activities. But we are shooting through some really simple games over here. But remember, we do have brightnesses quite high up, not the highest, they are not the brightest that all these phones can display. I wanted to keep them all even. And after seven hours and 23 minutes, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the first to clock out with 45 degrees in Celsius. So pretty hot when it finished off there with 10.60 milliamp hours per minute, not too bad. All three other devices are on 4% currently at the seven hour and 30 minute mark, which is really, really interesting considering that they haven't really been matching each other of late. And after seven hours and 33 minutes, just 10 minutes after the Note 20 Ultra clocked out, the S20 Ultra dies with a reading temperature of 43.7 degrees Celsius, slightly cooler than that of the Note 20 Ultra. And while I was cleaning the back of the S20 Ultra, the Mi 10 Ultra went out after seven hours and 36 minutes with the best milliamp hours per minute of 9.87. The worst being the S20 Ultra with 11 because it actually has the biggest battery and in the middle is the Note 20 Ultra with 10.16 milliamps as I mentioned earlier, but not the best percentage per minute. After seven hours and 58 minutes, absolutely incredible screen on time for the K30 Ultra via. It indeed dies with the coolest 43.2 degrees in Celsius and the best 9.41 milliamp hours per minute battery reading. Fourth place is indeed the Note 20 Ultra with seven hours and 23 minutes. This is still fantastic battery life. I regard six hours as absolutely great. Third place is the 
older brother, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with seven hours and 33 minutes, just 10 minutes longer lasting than that of the Note 20 Ultra. Second place, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra with seven hours and 36 minutes, just three minutes longer lasting than that of the S20 Ultra. Still great battery life, even though they've reduced their battery a bit. We have also seen a reduction in battery when it comes to the Redmi K30 Pro going to the Ultra, but almost eight hours of screen on time, not quite as good as the K30 Pro Zoom Edition, as you can see here with nine hours and 29 minutes, but the K30 Ultra still did a pretty great job considering it has jumped up from 60 Hertz on the Pro model to 120 Hertz on the Ultra model. Here is the list of all 15 devices that I have tested on my channel when undergoing a battery drain. Feel free to hit pause here for more information. But as of right now, these four devices that I have tested, sixth place to the Redmi K30 Ultra, seventh to the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, both sticking together there, ninth for the S20 Ultra, and 11th for the Note 20 Ultra, getting beat even by the OnePlus 8 Pro, though it does have the exact same sized battery. Now, if the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra had the same 4,500 milliamp hour battery as the other three devices that you see here, it would actually place dead last with a whopping six hours and 48 minutes. So if you look at it in that respect, then the Note 20 Ultra is actually a better performer in the battery department to that of the S20 Ultra. Of course, the overall winner here is still the K30 Ultra. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.